You guys asked, so we ran the tests. These painful moments are for you. We love the reaction you guys had to our last definitive test video where we tested a coffee with cream, MCT oil, and butter um, on our ketones and glucose levels. But you weren't shy about telling us what we missed. Right. One of the most frequent comments we got was what we should have tested all three together to mm -hmm. see how a full keto coffee or bulletproof coffee concoction affects your intermittent fast. Yeah. Actually, I believe you told me we should do that because they're going to ask. They will. I'm sure they'll find things to ask after this one too. Right. So we got back down to business and started another round of testing. We stuck to using the scientific method, meaning we came up with our hypothesis. We tested our hypothesis, we analyzed the results, and we came to our conclusions. So the materials we used were a precision extra blood ketone and glucose monitor. You've seen it before. Uh, we've got ketone strips, uh, glucose strips and our mugs of coffee along with all of our testing ingredients. We practiced 16-8 intermittent fasting, so we stopped eating 8 p.m. the night before and we didn't exercise, we didn't take supplements or anything like that during our fast. All right, and we should say that we decided that an intermittent fast would be broken if the items added to our coffee caused a significant increase in our glucose reading. That's because if you have a spike in glucose, you're going to have a spike in insulin and fat burning shuts down. Right. So we've talked about that in, in uh, different videos, but basically how it works is that insulin is your fat storing hormone. So if it's high, your body's in fat storing mode and not in fat burning mode. Here's a hypothesis we tested on day one. Keto coffee with MCT oil, cream, and butter while intermittent fasting. It will not knock us out of ketosis or spike our glucose. So we got up bright and early. Uh, pricked our fingers to get our baseline ketone and glucose readings and then drank 16 ounces of coffee with one tablespoon of uh, MCT oil, one ta two tablespoons two table of spoon. heavy cream, right. and one tablespoon of Kerrygold butter. Our experiment lasted two hours, so we took our reading initially at zero minutes, then again at 30, 60, and 120 minutes. Right. As you can see from the results, Becky had a fairly significant rise in her ketones over the two-hour period. She started at 0.8 millimoles per liter and ended at 1.3. I started at a frustratingly low level of 0.3 and ended at 0.7, which is, in our opinion, was actually a significant rise. We would say that because I have a hard time getting into ketosis, even when I eat very few carbs. So the fact that I started below what is considered nutritional ketosis and then got pushed into ketosis after drinking the keto coffee mm -hmm. seemed pretty significant. Yeah, I would, I would agree. Um, it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, so did it help you get into ketosis? You know, and, and this is not the only time during our testing period that we saw that these foods act um, as ketone boosters, almost like you would expect to see with like an exogenous ketone. Right. Um, so that piqued our interest to say the least. But before we get into that, let's look at how keto coffee made with MCT oil affected our glucose readings. So Becky's glucose readings went down slightly during the test, starting at 84 milligrams per deciliter, ending at 80, which is not a real significant difference. Keith's glucose readings went down as well. He started at 100 milligrams per deciliter, and after drinking his keto coffee and waiting two hours, his blood glucose was down by 17 points, which, which was a decent drop. So this is a pretty easy conclusion. Um, will drinking keto coffee made with MCT oil, cream, and butter knock you out of ketosis? No. If anything, it could give you a bit of ketone boost and a lower glucose reading. Right. So um, this finding, this was in line with what we had found from when we tested these three things separately. Uh, cream and butter alone gave our ketones a slight boost, and MCT oil raised our ketones the most. For me, MCT oil alone boosted my ketones up by 0.9, and you had a jump up from 
5 to uh, 1.3 at one point, which is pretty high. Right. So we'd say that MCT oil is a real clear winner here, um, but we had some more tests to run. Right. So the next thing you guys had questions about was coconut oil. MCT is derived from coconut oil, but they're not the same thing, and therefore it makes sense that your body will handle mm -hmm. them differently. And they did. We hypothesized that if we drink coffee with coconut oil while intermittent fasting, it will not knock us out of ketosis or spike our glucose. We drank 16 ounces of coffee mixed with one tablespoon of coconut oil and then tested our blood at 30, 60, and 120 minutes. Right. What happened was a whole lot of nothing. Uh, Pecky's ketone, ketone started at 2.2, rose to 2.4. My ketone started at 0.3, went up a little bit right after drinking the coffee with coconut oil, but then settled back down again for a net gain of just 0.1. When we look at our blood glucose readings and how they were affected by the coconut oil, we see that my glucose started at 79 and ended at 78. Keith's glucose reading at the beginning of the morning was 107 and then went up to 120 before dropping down to 96 at the end. So did coconut oil knock us out of ketosis or spike our glucose? We're going to say no, but the 13-point jump that I had right after drinking the coconut oil coffee was a finding of concern. Yeah, and um, these results were much different than our results with MCT oil. Uh, MCT oil clearly boosted our ketones and dropped our blood glucose. So if you are putting coconut oil in your morning coffee, you are most likely not breaking your fast, but we'd say you'd be better off switching to MCT oil. Agree? Agreed. All right, on to day three where we made another keto coffee, only this time we made it with coconut oil. So we mixed 16 ounces of coffee with one tablespoon of coconut oil, two tablespoons of heavy cream, and one tablespoon of Kerrygold butter. So we hypothesized that if we drink a keto coffee made with cream, coconut oil, and butter while intermittent fasting, it will not knock us out of ketosis or spike our glucose. So if you look at our results, you see that Becky's ketone reading for the day started at 1.4 and went up to 2.3 by the end of the test. My ketone started at 0.6 and after taking a small dip, ended up at 0.8. Yeah, so for me, the mix of the coconut oil, cream, and butter gave me more of a ketone boost than the coconut oil by itself. Uh, so was that added boost from the cream and the butter? I, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't Possible. know. Possible. Yeah, for me, I didn't get much of a boost with the coconut oil, regardless of whether it was in my coffee mm -hmm. or by itself. Let's look at what keto coffee made with coconut oil did to our glucose readings. My glucose started at 83 and actually went up, which was very unusual for me to, uh, to 86. Um, I don't think I've ever really had a reading that was higher after two hours um, on any of our testing days. Right. My glucose went up three points as well by the end of the two-hour test. So, what's the verdict on uh, keto coffee made with coconut oil? Will it knock you out of ketosis? No. <laughs> okay. Will it uh, break your intermittent fast? Yeah, probably not, but it could come down to how your body's handling. Mm -hmm. We both had a slight raise in our glucose right. when the coconut oil was blended into our keto coffee, and I had that jump of glucose to 120 with coconut oil alone, and now that was still an okay glucose reading, but it's pushing the limit. Yeah, and, and, and it could be a, just a variable, you know, like a, a testing strip type of an issue or something like be. that. But. Yep. Okay, on to the last day of testing. We got some questions about ghee, which is clarified butter. Um, now, we already tested butter the other day, but, um, you know, you never, you never know until you test it, right? Right. Yep, so on day four, we hypothesized that if we drink coffee with ghee while intermittent fasting, it will not knock us out of ketosis or spike our glucose. This was a question we got on our, on our channel, actually, to right. test this. Mm -hmm. So we drank 16 ounces of coffee mixed with one tablespoon of ghee uh, and then tested our blood throughout the morning. Right. It didn't taste that great. It wasn't, it wasn't great tea. I, I, it grew on me. Yeah. All right. yeah. All right, so let's take a look at what uh, happened to our ketones after we drank coffee with ghee. So this is pretty interesting. Um, Becky's ketones actually started at 1.2, went up slightly at 30 minutes, but then she was at 1.2 at 120 minutes. Your ketones basically at two hours didn't change at all. Right, whereas before, <clears throat> in a lot of the other tests, we mine would often go up. Yeah, no matter what, mm -hmm. it seemed like. Um, so my ketone readings were really surprising. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. 
I started at point four, which not unusual for me to not be in ketosis at that first part of the morning. But after two hours, mine went down. To, they went down to point three, point three, and then point two at the mm -hmm. two hour point. Mm -hmm. now, I've never had a drop like that. Yeah. With anything that we that we e take. even butter, right? So uh, maybe with coffee alone, I didn't have a. I had a little bit of a drop, but yeah. butter actually went up. Uh, yeah. So butter, your so, ketones went up. Yeah. Your ketones went down. So, so glucose readings. Becky started at 101 and ended at 94 up to two mm -hmm. hours, so a little bit of a decrease there. Yes, that was actually your highest starting point in all the tests yeah. we've run. Yeah, so why? I, I don't know. Right. Uh, I started at 106, went up a little bit to 107 on the two subsequent tests, and back to 102 at two hours. Um, so still over 100, that, and that was real unusual for me. Yeah. Um, so uh, our conclusion on, on ghee. Uh, Will ghee knock you out of ketosis? Mm. I, I, it might. Inclu inconclusive. It's We're going to have to give it, that it one It did up. lower my ketones, but I wasn't in ketosis specifically. Right. Yours stayed the same, so right. it didn't knock you out of ketosis. Right. Um, I don't know. It's but, pretty uh, inconclusive. I'm not a big fan of uh, it. Another drinker beware yeah. type of wine. Yeah, very much um, so. Will it uh, cause a rise in our glucose? Uh, doesn't seem to. It didn't but that was pretty. Very much that either. was pretty questionable. It, it was just either. pretty much flat line. Right. So, so would we say with ghee, can you have it, and w would it break your intermittent fast? Again, I, yeah, I think that that's inconclusive. All, yeah. Drinker, beware. Do your own test. I mean, if you yeah. like using ghee, do your own test and see where you're at with yeah. it. Um, I didn't. You you didn't mind the flavor. I didn't care for the flavor of it. Yeah. Um, but I, I I would not use it. All right, so let's let's bring it all home. All right. All right. So Wrap it up. our second uh, week of of pricking our fingers and and testing for things. So we uh, looked first at at uh, the two different keto coffees. All right. So one was made with MCT oil. One was made with coconut oil. Were, will either of those break your intermittent fast? No. Which one's the better one? MCT oil yeah. by far. Yeah. All right. Then we looked at two single single ingredients. Uh, coconut oil and ghee. Will either of them knock us out of ketosis or break our intermittent fast? A little inconclusive on that one. Yeah, actually both of them are, are uh, have question marks by yep. them. Um, so, clear winner, again, MCT, MCT oil. oil. That's when we did our test um, a couple weeks ago and put MCT oil in by itself. That was a, a clear winner. Yep. Increase in ketones and decrease in, in glucose. So. Yeah, definitely a thumbs up on that. All right. Hey, hope this helps. Uh, bring home some, some uh, ideas of what you can use while you're intermittent fasting. Uh, we will have more tests. Go ahead and let us know what you <laughs> like uh, us to yeah. test. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let our fingers gather that. Heal up. Yeah, we'll let our fingers heal, and we will be back with those results uh, at a later date. Thanks make so much. Make sure if you, uh, if you want to catch those, make sure you subscribe. Yes. Yep. So, all right, we'll see you.